service or repair the seals, begin by removing the manifold. The manifold can be removed using an 8mm Allen wrench to remove the two hex socket head screws. To create separation between the manifold and crankcase, rotate the crankshaft until there is a gap between the manifold and crankcase. Once separation has been made, use two flat tip screwdrivers to pry manifold away from the crankcase. While supporting the weight of the manifold, use a rubber hammer to completely remove manifold from crankcase. Place manifold on flat surface with low pressure seals facing up. Place a flat tip screwdriver under the low pressure seal and pry upward to remove. Be careful not to scratch the inner diameter surface of the seal case where the low pressure seals are located. Inspect the inside of the low pressure seal for wear or damage. Using a half inch seal case tool or T-wrench, Remove the seal case. Inspect the seal case o-rings for cuts, nicks, or damage, and also the high pressure surface of the seal case for scoring or damage. Place a flat tip screwdriver under the high pressure seal and pry upward to remove. Ensure you do not score the inside of the manifold. Inspect the inside and outside of high pressure seal for excessive wear or damage. To install new seals, begin with the high pressure seal. You will notice that one side of the high pressure seal has a groove while the other side is flat. Before installing, apply a liquid gasket to outside surface of the high pressure seal. With the flat side facing up, press the high pressure seal into place. Before installing the seal case, you must first replace the o-ring included in your seal kit. Using a small screwdriver or pick, reach under the o-ring and remove from the groove. Then, slide off the seal case. Replace with the new o-ring included in the seal kit. Before reinstalling, apply liquid gasket to the o-ring on the seal case. Install seal case with the o-ring down into the manifold. And thread into manifold. Using your seal case tool or T-wrench, torque to specification. Next, install the low pressure seal. The low pressure seal contains a spring on one side. Install with the spring side facing down and press into place. Before reinstalling the manifold, be sure to replace the plunger retainer O-ring included in the seal kit. To access the O-ring, start by removing the nylon oil pan. Remove the two-piece seal retainer with wick. If replacing the wick, the retainer can be pulled apart by hand. The retainer contains a small slot and large slot. The large slot should face the top of the crankcase to allow oil to fall onto the wick. The retainer can be snapped back together. Ensure the hole in the retainer is facing down when reinstalling. Using a 12mm wrench, loosen the plunger retainer. Before completely removing, stop and push the plunger toward the drive end to break loose from the retainer. Next, completely remove the plunger retainer. The plunger retainer contains an O-ring, backup ring, and copper gasket. Inspect the O-ring, backup ring, and copper gasket for cuts, nicks, or damage. Remove the ceramic plunger and inspect for cracks or scoring on the surface. Remove the keyhole washer and barrier slinger located behind the plunger. Both parts serve as a barrier to prevent water from entering the crankcase. To reassemble, install the barrier slinger with the dish side facing away from the crankcase. Next, install the keyhole washer. The slot can face in any direction. Before reinstalling the plunger retainer, change the O-ring included in the kit. Using a small screwdriver or pick, 
remove the backup ring, followed by the O-ring. Replace with the new O-ring, followed by the backup ring. Add a lubricant before reinstalling. The plunger retainer can only be installed on one side of the plunger. The plunger retainer should fit tight into the end of the plunger. Install retainer into plunger and press into place. Before installing the plunger assembly, apply thread sealant on the end of the plunger rod. Install plunger assembly and tighten using a 10 mm wrench. Torque to specification. Next, install the plunger retainer with the hole and long tail of the wick facing down. The oil pan has two tabs that rest in the crankcase. With the tabs sitting inside of the oil pan, press into place. Before reinstalling the manifold, rotate the crankshaft so the outside two plungers are even at the furthest distance from the crankcase. Install the manifold by hand, ensuring even alignment. Finish installing using a rubber hammer to ensure manifold is flush to crankcase surface. Reinstall the two hex socket head screws. Tighten using an 8mm Allen wrench and torque to specification.